Okay. Today we are going to discuss about uh, one more new topic. Explain the refraction of light through glass slab or define lateral shift. Okay. I want to thank you to everyone. You people are uh, like videos, share the videos and subscribe videos. Okay. And similarly, click on bell icon to get notification every day. Okay. Right now, entering into our topic. What is the aim of this experiment? Our aim is to find, determine the position of image and what is the nature of image found by glass lab or lateral shift. Operators, glass lab, pins, scale, protractor are required. Okay, right now, what we need to do? We need to take one white chart, we need to place over the table. Clamp it. After that, we need to cut the rectangular glass slab. We need to place over the paper. This is the glass slab we are considering. We place at the center. After placing that, what we need to do? Means we need to take a pencil and uh, draw margins of the glass lab. Okay. After removing the glass lab, what happens to the lines? It is giving you one rectangular plane. I am naming it as A, B, C, D. After removing of glass slab, we will get like, like this. A, B, C, D I named. Okay. Then after that, what we need to do? We need to uh, draw one line at any position you can draw in uh, lengthwise. Here I am drawing a line like, like this. Over this line, what I am doing is, I am placing two pins. Okay, I am naming it as P, Q. Okay, here I am drawing one normal at the point of touching on the AB line. Okay, the, then after that, the light ray which is uh, coming like, like this in this direction. Okay, and what we need to do means after drawing this, we need to replace the glass lab again in the original position A, B, C, D. Okay, carefully. Then, after, then uh, we need to go second side of the glass lab okay nothing but uh, we need to observe from dc side okay and what we need to observe we need to observe pins pq okay where they will be means uh, these two pins will be either side of we stood okay we are right now here pins will be here we need to observe through glass lab okay if you observe through glass lab, what happens to that? Means those two pins, P, Q pins are appears to be like only one pin. Okay. We need to identify the position. Okay. Again, we are going to place uh, two more pins. Right now, totally four pins. The four pins appears to be like only one pin. Nothing but uh, it will be in the straight line. That position we need to observe from second side of the glass slab. Okay, if you observe carefully from the second side, I got uh, one position where we are getting two more pins appears to be like one pin. I am naming it as R S. Totally four pins P, Q, R and S. Okay, four pins right now appears to be like only one pin like like this okay and right now we need to draw one normal at this point okay extend or join the line rs line and it is touching on dc length at this point okay again we need to draw a line from here to there okay which is giving you refraction inside of it. 
okay this is giving you the refraction which is inside of the glass slab after removing the glass slab we can draw a line okay this is the light ray which is coming like like this and is shooting and get refracted after refraction again it get refracted from glass slab okay it is coming out here we are getting this is nothing but uh, angle of incidence why because we named it as uh, uh, we name it as i the angle between normal and uh, incident ray is called angle of incidence okay similarly here also we get the light ray which is coming out of the glass slab that we are calling it as angle of emergence okay angle of emergence i am naming it as e okay by using protractor if you observe the angle of incidence and angle of emergence we can find that angle of incidence and angle of emergence both remain same okay angle of incidence is equals to angle of emergence so we can name it as i itself angle of incidence and angle of emergence both remain same okay but right now what happened the light ray means uh, this is the uh, light ray which is actually wants to come like like this nothing but we are calling it as actual path of the light ray this is the actual path of the light ray light ray wants to come in this direction okay but what happened the light ray it get refracted and again coming out of the glass slab okay how it appears actually this light ray is coming like like this refracted ray is moving parallel to actual path of the light ray refracted ray is moving parallel to actual path of the light ray okay nothing but then we have a shift taking place from original direction that we are calling it as lateral shift it is shifting laterally sideways okay that we are calling it as lateral shift lateral shift is nothing but the light ray which is shifting parallel to original path that we are calling it as lateral shift okay it shifted from original direction okay where we get the image we will get the image at the infinity okay and uh, this is giving you when a light ray propagating from one point one uh, side of the glass slab to other side of the glass slab okay this is the path of the light ray which is giving you okay pq and rs pq and rs both are parallel to each other okay what is the angle of deviation taking place there is no angle of deviation taking place angle of deviation here it will be 0 degrees okay when a light ray propagating from uh, one side of the glass slab to another side of the glass slab what is the angle of deviation taking place means which is giving you 0 degrees okay what is the conclusion of this when a light ray propagating from one side of the glass slab to another side of the glass slab this is the path and there we have a lateral shift taking place okay this is the concept which is giving you diffraction of light through glass slab.